My name is Cheryl, and I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial on how to be Cleopatra for Halloween. I've never done this before, um, like this was just the first um, trial that I did today, and it looked perfect, so I thought I might teach people how to do it. I'm going to start with my face, and I'm going to use this Laura Mercier. Um, it's a base foundation primer. Base is, and it's oil free because my face gets really oily. So I'm just going to put a little on my finger and um, like dab it around my face. This helps it to stick, um, helps the foundation stick. Stick out of my hair. All right, with that done, I'm going to move ahead and use my tinted moisturizer. It's um, also by Laura Mercier. And it's lightweight, flawless coverage because I don't like a lot of foundation. And so I, I like this better. So just put a little on your foundation brush and dab it around your face. Make sure it's even because you don't want to have some parts with a lot a lot of foundation and others without. Remember you want to have it really dark because it's Cleopatra, so you want to blend it to the point that you cannot see any skin color whatsoever. Now 
And it's okay to be messy, as you, you know, work on your eye because you can always clean it up after. Then because I want it darker, I take my brush and dip it into my coal and then just fill it in on the eye lid. Okay, so see how this eye is like perfect, right? And this eye is kind of not that perfect. You want to kind of like take a little bit of this, a little bit of that, pull the eye out, and just perfect the line. Okay. This line seems to be longer than the other, so we'll fix that later. But um, take your blending brush, put a little gold on it, and just start up from the beginning of your eyebrow line. Take a little bit of this lighter one and do the same thing. Okay, I'm gonna go back to fixing my black. Okay, final touches on the black. Make it look good. Okay, so I'm done with that. I'm gonna take my eyeliner brush, dip it into my coal again, but this time gonna be for the lower lid. We're gonna go this way. Okay, then, whoop, my eyes are tearing. <clears throat> Take my smudge brush, dip it in here, mix it with that, and smudge it under my eye to give it a more bold look. Okay, I think that looks good. Okay. Ooh, my eye is tearing. Okay. Alright, and then once that's done, I will put my mascara, which is Sephora's um, Advanced Lash Booster. I don't really have big eyelashes, and so I like to make, I like to use an eyeliner that's gonna make it pop, kind of. And I really like this one. I just got this a couple months ago, so it should be there. So, you know, just put it on there. Make sure to get it from the bottom. Okay. 
that I've done. To the next side. the bottom lashes. Well, it's always hard for me because I always tend to smudge but because I already have a really dark um, island of the bottom of my eye I really don't mind if I smudge it. So this is just to make your eyes pop even more you know. Okay. much on my finger. Whatever. Okay. So if you have lighter skin, you could use a bronze um, blush. But because my skin's not that light, I prefer to use this Tarte blush from Sephora. It's natural beauty. It's kind of made out of clay or something like that. I don't know. I just really like it makes my cheeks pop and I use this contour brush as a blush brush because it gives me a better um, fix from giving it an angle and making it look good and whatever so I mean you can use a regular blush brush but I just personally like this. I smile. You don't want to get too much on there because then you're going to look weird. And then you don't want to get too little that nobody can see. I am like, I really just like blush because it comes out really well on pictures and I love to take pictures. As a lot of people know, I'm not a picture freak, so I think that looks good. You can see that. Alright, so that's done. I'm kind of mixed up doing my face and my eyes at the same time, but I just forgot to, to fill in on my eyebrow. So I take my eyebrow angled brush, take a little dark brown color, not too much, and then just fill it into my eye, eyebrow because my eyebrows are a tad bit um, spaced out. If yours are not, that's fine. You can also use it to darken your eye, eyebrows, excuse me. Okay, and with that done, take the brush itself and comb through my hair to make it look neat and cute. Okay, alright, so that's done. So now that I have my face done, you know, with the whole black, fierce, and gold, whatever, I'm gonna do my lips. Not too bold because. If you're doing Cleopatra, you're probably going to be wearing a white dress or a black dress and the whole gold stuff going. So I'm going to use um, L'Oreal's Infallible. That's a six hour never fail lip gloss. And it's nude. Take a little lip balm and just put it on my lip for like a base. Okay, you can use your finger or you can use a brush if you like. I just prefer to use my finger. And then take that and just put it on there. Alright. And there you have it. Your Cleopatra look for Halloween.